months for yet another excellent tournament. Um, a lot of new things, um, some upgrades, if you will. I think it made it very exciting uh, for the student athlete experience. Um, and I uh, probably should have prepped with this first. As always, I want to give all the glory to God. Um, it was a great game out there. Uh, Royce and his uh, team uh, did an excellent job. It, it was a tough game out there. I think both teams played very tough, and um, uh, I, I just I'm very excited about um, uh, first of all um, how these kids, our players, you know, they didn't quit. Um, uh, there, there, there's a lot that has led up to this game, and um, in terms of the body of work this program has done for so many years. And that body of work, I wouldn't trade for anything. I have some of the most incredible kids. Uh, we've had greats go on before. I have some greats sitting at this table. And um, they leave a great culture behind. Then they carry a torch. And um, uh, we didn't lose today. I have a whole lot of lessons. We didn't lose. And um, um, I am... Uh, in a place with these kids that um, no matter what we're always always going to be in that number don't ever count the colonels out and um, again it was a tough one today and there's there's certainly some things that you know we could have done better but I feel like we played hard we didn't quit and I truly believe we represented the body of work that this program has done over a number of years and I couldn't be any prouder of a team. And I do, let me repeat, congratulations to Royce Chagwood and um, uh, his team. They, they played very, very hard, and I wish them the best. Okay, we'll start off with questions from Brandon. Brandon Williams, uh, Southland Conference. Uh, question to both of you ladies. Uh, did you expect uh, any, did, uh, basically I should say, did they do anything different defensively compared to what you saw in the first meeting? Um, no, I don't think so. I think they just played really hard, and uh, they were a little bit tougher than us tonight. Uh, we gave it a good fight, though. Uh, yeah, I just thought it was our offense. We just weren't hitting shots and executing like we normally do. Okay. Kamal Jones, Garage Apartment Media. Uh, tough, uh, this for both Cassidy and Ari. Um, tough shooting night tonight. Um, being this was your first game of the tournament, uh, was there any nerves that, that caused this, or was it just an off night from everybody? Um, I think it was just an off night. I mean, we were prepared like we normally am, so I just think it was not nerves, just we weren't hitting shots, that was it. Same, yeah. I don't really think it was uh, nerves, because we were prepared. We've been here before. We know what to expect, so basically just an off shooting night. And I know the question wasn't directed at me, but I have to say it, it wasn't an offshoot night due, due to a lack of effort. You know, the, the, they they were they were out there. They, they were trying to execute. They were battling to execute. Um, we were getting some uh, some some good looks, and um, just let it be noted, it wasn't due to a lack of effort. You know, Brian Johnson, ESPN Radio New Orleans. Coach Blazon, if you've got a young woman to the right of you that has won 39 games the last two years, conference MVP, all-time leading scorer in program history, you've won 20 games this year. Let me interrupt you for a second. We're, we're going with questions for the student athletes at this point, please. And we'll get to, to Coach in a moment. So just... Cassidy. <laughs> <laughs> Ask that question later. I got a great answer okay, for it. Sure. <laughs> As you examine your career and your time here, uh, you've been a part of a, a transformational period. What does your time here mean for the future of Nichols basketball? Um, I just know that the girls on the team are definitely going to, you know, finish what we started this year, and next year. So I hope that they all just, you know, continue to work hard and, you know, believe in themselves, and they'll make it again. Uh, this question is, excuse me, Dara Jones, uh, Rod Department of Media. Uh, this is for both players. Uh, your coach mentioned that you guys didn't lose, but y'all learned a lot of lessons. So uh, what is what is the lesson or the biggest lesson you take from this, this game and, and this year? Um, can never take a team for granted, for sure. 
not that we did take them for granted, you just never know who's going to show up. You know, it's always a tougher team that wins, and, you know, they had us today. But, you know, you just have to show up to play every game. Uh, definitely uh, going off of what she said, uh, I don't think we took them for granted, but uh, at the end of the day, uh, like I said, they were the tougher team. And uh, we threw punches, they threw punches too, but at the end of the day, they, um, they ended up with the uh, win. Any more questions for the student athletes? Okay, ladies, thank you. you can take your main cards, please. Too. Get a mic to Bryant here and get okay. But I'll take the answer. <laughs> <laughs> I have uh, stated so many times that um, the day Cassidy Barrios said yes to Nichols was a great day for the entire community. Uh, I've said this so many times, but I've heard from some great coaches repeating this good. Um, what she does is amazing, but how she does it is beyond amazing. She's a class act. When I tell you not a second of off-court, on-court issues, yes ma'am, no ma'am, doesn't miss practice, hasn't been late for practice, hasn't been late for the bus, been student athlete of the year, been getting it done. Um, as a coach, it's players like that that empower you, that just make you want to take everything, use everything you have, when, when you get a special player like that, to take everything around you to the next level. And um, when she was an underclassman, she was a great underclassman. The, the, the greats that have gone before her, she did not let the, those legacies die. And now that she's leaving a legacy, that's going to be our job. That Cassidy Barrios and the greats that have gone before her never fade in this program. We've had some very special players. And, and Cassidy is the, the best of the best. And she is one that she empowers everyone around us and her humility may, may God's graces be with her forever because her humility and how she just she doesn't want to take any of the credit she deflects it and I'm sure you heard it in her comments I mean she was directed at at herself that's you know almost went nuts but I, I mean so with a player like Cassidy Barrios an institution. It's not just about our women's basketball program. Nickel State, Thibodeau, and that entire region, we are better off having experienced Cassidy Barrios for the next for the last four years. And we will not let her ever fade. Thank you. Coach, with uh, a great regular season and this disappointing win, what will you take away from this win to move forward into the next season uh, for the next class and the recruits coming in? Well, there, there's a lot of takeaways. Um, um, yes, you know we um, we hope this isn't the last game uh, of this season. We hope you haven't seen the last of Cassidy Barrios, but we don't know. But with that being said. Uh, uh, in terms of the question, regardless, there's going to be a next year. And uh, we had uh, a lot of freshmen and sophomores uh, playing tonight. Ari and Ty are the only other two upperclassmen. And um, you know, I, I feel very confident uh, in this program that we're going to be able to continue uh, their tradition. And I think it's very, very important. Um, uh, my son uh, is blessed to be playing for a great coach, Coach Mark Schlesinger. And um, I was in here for his comments last night, and I've often thought it, but the way he phrased it, it it's perfect. You know, players graduate, but culture doesn't. And um, uh, that is point on in terms of describing what we have going on in the Nichols Women's Basketball Program at, um, in Thibodeau. Uh, we, we have a tremendous culture. I mean, we fight the good fight. Things don't always go the right way. 
But we play hard, we play smart, and we always give the glory to God, no matter what happens. And when you do that, and when you fight the good fight, you can always live to fight another day. And we're not going away. I mean, I, I can tell you that. And, um, and not only do we come back, we come back, you know, pretty fiercely. And, um, now, and, and I, I thank you for phrasing it that way. What am I going to take away from this, this win? Because in these wins, there were lessons. And, um, you know, I, I, I don't like losing, and I don't believe in losing. I mean, losing is when you get, give up. Losing is when you, you, you know, <coughs> didn't even try. Our kids tried tonight. You know, our kids did not give up. And, again, it's the culture that will live and will continue to live. And uh, we'll expect nothing less. I mean, every day we're going to wake up and we're going to fight the good fight. You know, uh, I've, I've been sharing with the kids that, you know, in terms of sacrifice, and there's a lot of sacrifice. There's a whole lot of sacrifice. And in life, what you have to do is you have to look at what you have. And if you look at what you have, you're fine. Because God doesn't leave any of us alone. And I've been telling them in terms of sacrifice, if you do not sacrifice for what you want, what you're doing is you will sacrifice, in fact, exactly what you want. It's all in the sacrifice. It's all in the service. And that, my friend, will forever live on in our program. Okay, I've got one more question. That was beautiful. I almost don't want to... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, but in, in terms of the game, Coach, they uh, they outscored you in the paint. They scored 23 points off of turnovers, second chance points, fast break points, and even the bench. Uh, what? Why do you think? What? What were they able to do that your team wasn't able to match their physicality? Well, again, um, respectfully, um, uh, I think we were fighting there. Um, I, I just. You know, I think Eric said it well. They throw a punch, we throw a punch. They maybe threw two more punches. I mean, I, 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 I don't think we didn't answer to the physicality of the game. Um, three, three stats that, that drive me cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs, and it's uh, points off turnovers, points in the paint, and then um, uh, free throws. And Because I feel like you rebound the basketball, you own possessions, you win the game. You don't turn the ball over, you're not giving up possessions, you win the game. You get to the free throw line, you hit free, that's how easy this game is. Those three stats. And I, I just feel like we had opportunities in the first half to get to the to free throw line, and uh, we didn't you know, convert at the free throw line like we normally do. And uh, again, in, in the paint, in those paint touches, I mean, there were, there were many, many possessions where we're there, we have it, we're there, we have it. Although they have it, we have it. Next thing you know, boom. So I don't, I don't know if, it, with all due respect, I don't think it was that we didn't match their physicality. I, I, I just think it was, a, it was a physical game. <laughs> and we've always been the smaller team, but we've never let our size uh, uh, or the size of our opponents intimid intimidate us in any ways. And I just, you know, their length, I think, affected us at, at some points, you know, that, that, you know, and they were playing hard, so that, that little extra effort with a little bit more of a length sort of, you know, deflected our shots and, and turned it over. But I was fully aware of those three stats, and, and I can assure you those are, and, and assist to turnover ratio, I mean, I really, Cooper for Coke Puffs, OCD on it, assist to turnover ratio, and um, it, it wasn't that we were not sharing the basketball, it's just we it wasn't converting. Thank you. You done with me? Keep playing. Keep oh, playing. I'm going to keep playing. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, guys. Follow the Garage Apartment on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Brand new. Tweet, photos, videos, hashtags. Let me show some real quick. Follow me on social media. And subscribe to the Garage Apartment Radio on YouTube.